What is up everybody and thank you for clicking on the video. So today's video is all about the three top tips for catching flounder. So it's that time of year y'all, the weather's starting to cool down. We've had a couple cool fronts blow through. It's the end of October and the flounder are starting to move. Now I wouldn't say they're 100% running yet, but they are definitely leaving their summer areas, their summer homes and making their way to open water. So these tips will work for pretty much anywhere flounder live, but where I am down here on the Texas coast, specifically in the Galveston area, we are not allowed to keep flounder during November 1st to December 15th. They close down the flounder season, as you can say. That is a time when most of the flounder are running. They're super easy to catch, but with the new regulations in place during that month and a half, we are not allowed to harvest flounder. The good news is we still have another week until that goes into effect. So with these last two cold fronts that we've had, I think this last week and weekend before the closure goes into effect is gonna be really good. So let's go ahead and get right into the video and let me go over these three top tips for catching flounder. So while I'm telling you all these top three flounder fishing tips, I'm gonna be rolling some old flounder fishing clips from previous videos to show you all exactly what I'm talking about. The first and what I think is the most important flounder fishing tip is to make contact with the bottom guys. Flounder live on the bottom. They sit right here. This is the ocean floor. They're sitting right there and they're waiting for your bait to swim over top of them and they're gonna jump up and grab it. They're not necessarily chasing it down like trout and redfish. They're laying in one spot and they're waiting for that lure to hop over them. Right here, this is a gulp on a jig head. A little bonus tip for y'all. One of the best flounder lures right here. Three eighth ounce jig head and a gulp. This is perfect, they love it. But yeah, your flounder's here and they're waiting for this lure right here to come swimming over top of them or waiting for your live mole or waiting for whatever you have and they're just ready to ambush it. So tip number one, make contact with the bottom, slow down your presentation. I can't stress this enough. Yes, you will see people throwing soft plastics, working them as they normally would for trout or redfish or whatever, and they will catch some flounder, but especially during this time of year when the water starts to cool down, the fish do not move as much. They get a little lethargic, especially as we get farther into the winter. So slow down that presentation. Like I said, y'all, I probably sound like a broken record, but flounder live on the bottom. They wait in one spot to ambush prey. You want your lure to make contact with the bottom and hop over one of those flounder's head. If you fish a little bit murkier water, this is especially true because those flounder aren't gonna be able to see your lure from five feet away as they would if you're in crystal clear water, right? You really have to put it right on top and really bump them in the nose with it. So that is flounder tip number one, contact with the bottom and slow down your presentation. Probably the most important one for catching flounder and targeting them specifically. Now this next tip has to do with finding the flounder. You can fish slow and drag lures around all day and bump the bottom. If you're not fishing where the flounder are, then you're obviously not gonna catch them. So tip number two is to fish around structure. You have to find the structure. All fish out there love structure. They all relate to structure. Find the structure, find the fish, right? But that is especially true when it comes to flounder. As the saying goes, if you're not getting snagged, you're not flounder fishing. Fifteen, just like the others. Gonna get the release. Like I said earlier in the video, flounder are ambush predators. They lay on the bottom and they wait for stuff to come to them. So they use that structure to help them hide and to help them ambush those bait fish. Now structure could be anything from old pilings, boat docks, jetty rocks, grass lines, sea walls, really anything. It doesn't matter as long as there's something for those fish to lay around. And if you could find structure paired with moving water, that could be a flounder gold mine. They love laying on the bottom, waiting for that current to push bait right over the top of them. They definitely work smarter, not harder. So that is tip number two. And then for the last important tip, tip number three, this has to do whenever you actually end up getting that flounder to bite. And that is give them time to eat and do not be afraid to set the hook. I cannot stress that enough, guys. The flounder. There we go. This is definitely true whenever you're using live bait, as in live mullet or other sort of little bait fish like that. Sometimes it takes those flounder a couple seconds to really get that bait in their mouth. Flounder have super bony jaws. If you don't give them time to eat, you're not gonna get a good hook set on them. What you'll see a lot of people do, and what I'm sure you're seeing right now on the video, is that whenever you get a bite, a lot of people will slowly drag the flounder to see how big it is. If the flounder feels heavy, then they'll give it time to eat, uh, allow that flounder to swallow that bait, because you're gonna be keeping it anyways, it doesn't really matter, and then they'll set the hook super hard. If it feels small, a lot of times you just go ahead, rip it right out, Either you'll miss the fish or you'll hook them right in the jaw and then you don't have to worry about harming that fish. So guys, it's important to give them time to eat. If you're using a lure like a gulp or something like this, sometimes they'll eat it one much. You can go ahead and set the hook right away. But like I said, if you're using a mullet or some sort of bait fish like that, a lot of times those flounder will be laying on the bottom. They come up, grab that bait, go back, lay right back down. 
and you can actually feel them adjusting that bait in their mouth and chewing it and swallowing it. And then what you do once you think that flounder has it is set the hook super hard. Don't be shy to set the hook. That's one of the funnest parts about flounder fishing is setting that hook like you mean it. Hook sets are free, right? So don't be scared to just whale back on them and let them have it. That is it right there guys, three top tips for flounder fishing. And the beautiful thing about these tips is that they don't just work during the flounder run, they work all year round. If I'm trying to catch flounder, no matter what time of year it is, I'm always doing these exact three things. Slowing down my presentation, letting that lure hit the bottom, working the bottom, fishing around any structure I can find, and setting that hook like I mean it. So hopefully y'all enjoyed the video. I hope this helps some of y'all out. Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know where your top flounder tips are. We could stay here and talk about flounder fishing for hours because there's so many different techniques people use, so many different strategies people use, but I think that these three right here are pretty universal. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe if you're not already. If you are, I thank you guys so very much. And if you enjoyed this video and you wanna see more videos like this, I wanted to let y'all know that I recently started a Patreon and I urge you to go check it out. And if you're interested, maybe go ahead and become a patron. It's either one or two dollars a week. And you get what I think is some pretty good benefits for it. So you get a weekly forecast every week where I go over all the conditions, tell you what days are best to fish, what I'd be doing. You get live fishing reports. After I go fishing, I tell you what's biting and where. You get merch discounts. You get all the recipes from the videos written out so you can follow them at home. And what I think is best of all is that you get an exclusive monthly video only for patrons where I go over stuff just like this to help y'all catch more fish, help you land more fish, and just give you different ideas and perspectives on what I like to do. And in these videos, I like to go over the different rigs I use and bait choices and stuff like that. So go check that out if you're interested in that. Once again, I thank you for watching the video. And until next time, peace. Right, next cast after and I just got another one from Let Him Eat. Woo! <laughs>